are 3D printed parts actually strong enough to be practical? This is a drywall anchor. It's used to help you hang things on your walls, but the important thing is it has to be strong enough. So how strong is this anchor? Here's how this specific drywall anchor works. You have a wall and your anchor. When you screw in a drywall screw into the wall and through the anchor, when you continue screwing, it clamps against the wall. So how strong is this connection? Let's find out. Here I have a bunch of different test pieces of the drywall anchor printed in different materials. The goal for this test is to be as scientific as possible. These three anchors are printed in Bamboo Lab Copper Silk PLA. Next we have regular PLA and that's Overture. And here we have some black Bamboo Lab PLA. And over here we have the orange Pet G. And then we have black ABS. So let's do some testing to see how strong these anchors are and which material is the strongest. For this test, I built a mock-up of a standard American wall. Here's a view from the back of the wall. Of course, in a real life situation, we would not have this vantage point. For the first test, let's go ahead and test the Bamboo Lab Silk PLA. So right away you can see it is failing just by screwing the screw into the part. It's definitely not supposed to be cracking along the layer lines. And that's the problem with silk PLA. It's very, very weak along the layer lines. So unfortunately, this means we're going to have to disqualify Bamboo Lab Copper Silk PLA. All three test pieces cracked along the layer lines. This means it's a complete failure for the wall anchor. All of the other materials, the PLA, the PETG, and the ABS, all worked perfectly. Now let's see how much weight each one of these anchors can hold. To do this, I'll be hanging a scale from each one of these screws and adding more and more weight until it completely fails. I printed three wall anchors of each material. Let's start off with the orange PETG to see how much it can hold. It starts to pull out of the wall or starts yielding at around 30 kilograms. So for the first result of PETG, it has a ultimate strength of 56.2 kilograms. So let's go ahead and add this result to our results page. So the ultimate strength is 56.2 kilograms and the yield strength is 30 kilograms. Here you can see what I mean by the yield strength. It starts to pull out of the wall slightly and it's basically what you don't want a wall anchor to do, but it's still not failing at this point. So at first this graph here might look a little bit confusing, but I'll try to break it down and make it as simple as possible. On the Y axis, we have the weight that we are applying to the anchor and the X axis is uh, how much the anchor is pulling out of the wall. So uh, this line here is basically the result of the first test. So the yield strength that we uh, found to be around 30 kilograms, this is all the good zone. So I'll mark this here as the good zone. We want to stay in this area. But that's not exactly how strong it is ultimately. The ultimate strength is objectively how much weight it held before breaking. I'll explain more of this later in the video. Let's go ahead and test the second and third PETG anchors. Now let's go ahead and add the results to our result page. We have 53.1 and 51.9 kilograms. Now let's go ahead and test the white Bamboo Lab PLA. Since I currently don't have a way to exactly determine the yield strength, let's just go ahead and complete all the tests only doing ultimate strength. <laughs> Now let's add the results of our Overture White PLA to our results page. We got 56.7, 47.6, and 50.0 kilograms. Now let's move on to the Black Bamboo Lab PLA. Now let's add the results to our results page. We have 50.4 kilograms, 52.1, and 50.3. 
Now let's move on to the last test, the ABS, supposedly stronger out of the other materials. For ABS, we got 47.7 kilograms, 40.2 kilograms, and 43.5 kilograms. So does this mean our wall anchors can hold about 50 kilograms? No. These are the results basically at failure. We need to include a safety factor. Safety factors can range from about 1.2 all the way up to four or six. Since we measured everything at failure, we should probably use a fairly high safety factor. Let's go ahead and go with four. So crazy enough, the average ultimate strength was exactly 50 kilograms. A safety factor of four means that these wall anchors can safely hold 12.5 kilograms. Head over to www.3dprinteracademy.com for more resources, unique STL designs, free lessons, articles, courses, and more. My name is Steven. Thanks for watching and happy printing.